time to make sock puppets. So, Melvin. Yeah, I need some friends. You need some sock puppet friends. I do. Okay. Well, and our friend Sam is here to help. Hey, Sam. Hey, Melvin. So, we want to tell you about the type of materials that you need to make sock puppets. You will need a sock and some yarn or maybe feather boa, something for for some hair. For the eyes, we can use buttons, Google eyes, we can use ping pong balls, and then we'll need maybe a pom pom for the nose and a little bit of thread and a needle. If you don't know how to sew, you might need a grown up to help you with that one step. Ready to get started? Yeah. I am. To make a sock puppet, we need to start with a sock. And you can choose really any kind of sock you want. It can be a small sock, a big sock, as long as it fits over your hand. You just want to make sure that you're not using socks that aren't meant to be destroyed because once we make the sock puppet, you won't be able to use that sock as a sock again. So Sam, we have a few options here. We have some striped and um, patterned socks. We have this red and black striped sock. Which sock would you like to use? I think we should use this one. Okay. Let's take this sock, and the first thing we're gonna do is put the sock on your hand. Can you make your hand into kind of the letter C? Great. So now, I'm just gonna put this on your hand. You just need to really shove your hand in there. Okay, now. So we're gonna leave a little bit of extra sock at the end of your fingers, so we have something to tuck in. So now we're gonna Tuck the toe of this sock in. You have your thumb in the bottom part and your fingers in the top part, right? Open and close your hand. Great, it's working. It's working already as a sock puppet. But just to make sure this doesn't slip out, what we are going to do is put a couple of little stitches right in the cheek of that sock. We want to make sure that it's easy for you to get your hand in and out of it. So to hold the points where those cheeks should be, I'm gonna take a clothes pin and just mark those, mark those corners. Now we can pull the sock off your hand. Ready? Great. So now I know exactly where to sew my X in this sock puppet. Again, this step isn't completely necessary. It's just to help you keep your sock puppet in the shape you want it. But you can always just put the sock back on your hand and push the toe in. So now we're gonna stitch in these cheeks. And all we need to do is stitch a little X where that clothespin was. So I just go up through the fabric. Got a knot there. Back down. Half my X. It's very similar to sewing on a button. And now I'm just going to go in here and make a knot in my thread. There we go. I can snip that off. And now I will do the other side. Let's put this sock back on your hand. I'll let you do that part. So remember your fingers are gonna go on one side and your thumb on this bottom lip. Okay, so now we need to make some design choices. If you can hold this up and just bend your wrist a little bit. There you go. Now, what kind of eyes do we want on this puppet? We can use buttons, we can use Google eyes, we can use ping pong balls, and we can even put Google eyes on the ping pong balls. What do you think? Let's do the ping pong balls with the Google eyes. Ping pong balls with Google eyes, okay. So we're gonna use hot glue for this. This is one of those times when you really need hot glue because it's really hard to stick ping pong balls to anything without hot glue. If you're using buttons, if you're using paper, if you're using Google Eyes, you can go ahead and use white glue. You just have to make sure you wait for it to dry. I'm gonna take your hand out for a minute, just to be safe. 
we're gonna put this cardboard in here. We're replacing Sam's hand with cardboard because we don't want the hot glue to go through the sock and burn his hand. And we also don't want the hot glue to go all the way through the sock and stick the top and the bottom together. So now we have a piece of cardboard in there and we just put a little bit of glue here and here. We put our ping pong balls on. Can you hand me another one, please? There we go. And I usually hold these down and count to 30, and then I know that it is dry. Now our sock, our ping pong ball eyes are on there. Just to make them a little more stable, I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue right in the middle and glue these eyes to each other. That helps a lot. Okay, so we'll put the Google eyes on. Again, what I'm gonna do is put some glue on the back of the eye and have you tell me where you want the Google eye to be. What do you think? Can it be like right there so it looks like? So it looks like he's kind of looking to the side? Yeah. Okay, put my thumb where you said so I make sure I put it in the right spot. I'm putting a dab of hot glue on that Google Eye. Mm -hmm. And right there, right? Yeah. Okay. So do we want this puppet to have a nose? Sure. Okay, so the nose can also be a button. It could be a pom-pom. What do you think? Let's do a pom-pom. Okay, what color? Yellow. Yellow. So again, I'm going to hot glue this on. I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on the end of my sock. Put my pom-pom on there. All right, is he looking more puppet-like? Yeah. Okay, we can stop here if we want to, or we can keep going. We can put hair on this and we have options for hair. We could use some yarn. We could use, I have this tassel here that would make some funny hair. I have some feather boa that we could use for some hair. What do you think? Um, can we try the yellow yarn? Yeah, yellow yarn. We are going to glue some yellow yarn on for hair. Should this puppet have longer hair or short spiky hair? Uh, let's do longer hair. Longer hair, okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this yarn in half. So maybe about that long for hair, you think? Okay. So I'm just gonna fold one, two, three, four, I think my yarn's gonna fall, five, six, seven. We'll give our puppet quite a bit of hair. Okay, so here's the trick. If I try to glue this on now, that's gonna be really hard to do. So instead, what I can do is just tie this in a knot. This is long, so I can just tie the whole thing in a knot. Or I can cut off another piece of yarn and tie it around the middle. So I've got my knot there. And now I can trim all these loops. Now we can put this hair on. Should we have it at the bottom? Or should we put it at the top coming over the eyes? Let's do it at the bottom. At the bottom, okay. So we'll use hot glue again. We still have our cardboard in there so we don't accidentally glue the puppet together. We'll glue this right back here. All right. What do you think? It's a good puppet. Yeah, I think so too. All right, so now we will take the cardboard out, everything is dry. And that cardboard was just from a cereal box, really thin cardboard, it doesn't take very much. You just don't wanna have your hand inside the puppet when you're using hot glue. So I've put my hand back in this puppet, and this is what the puppet looks like. You wanna say hi to everyone? Hello, I am so happy to be the newest puppet member of WVU Extension. Thanks 
Sam. You're welcome. So Melvin, I want to introduce you to your new friend. A new friend! A new friend. This is Bubblegum. Hey, Bubblegum! Hey, Melvin. It's so great to have you here. And do you know what? What? Today is your birthday. 